Oh, hello guys, welcome to another Let's Play of Fallout 3. And I could not wait, I, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna, re wait. I wanna reload to a point where I had my crew who I was supposed to be guarding, sorry. I got a little excited. Let's see, are they still with me? Where are you? Where are they? Hmm. more efficient. <laughs> Use my stats. Oh dear. I'm gonna load. Well, I have to load anyway. Because there's a point where I have them with me. Oh, this must be it. They're right there in the picture. Okay. Oh, they all left. I'm gonna stick with them. I mean, like, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Why are you going ahead? <laughs> I'm out of here. It's the best gun for this situation. Assault rifle. So much for your power armor. <laughs> Tesla armor, can I wear this? Still not encumbered. Can I put it on? What? You need training? That sucks. Can I wear the helmet at least? No. It's broken. Oh, what a shame. It's pretty expensive. I'm gonna carry it because I don't think I'll be picking up a lot of stuff in the meantime. Let me just check on my crew, see if they're still around. They vanished. Where did they go? You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry. See, we came from here. Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John Henry. Where did I come from? And I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. You're thirsty, aren't you? They ran off. That's fine, but we can't stop now. We need to keep going. All right, let's go. Are we going this way? coming. I'll talk to them. What is it? <laughs> she sounds very... <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to stay in one place for too long. She sounds very, uh, testy at the moment. I need to find the way out. And then come back for them. 
that a... Not them. How do you get out of here? At least they're there. That's good to know. <laughs> Rolling pin. Maybe this way? I feel that was a hot spot. Nice knowing you. I sure love my assault rifle. Wow, it's powerful. Mando hat? Has that got something at least? <laughs> Armor? <laughs> Damn resistance one. <laughs> it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> it's like a fairy hat. <laughs> it's funny. Inaccessible. How do you get up there? Activate it from somewhere else. What does that mean? Oh, first aid. I could use a. St he could have used that, wouldn't he? That stim pack. Oh, here it is. Oh, cool, cool. Am I good with computers? Oh, damn it! One hundred. What's this? Beer. Tin can. Maybe she can open it. She is science. It's like, what? Okay. The worst thing to happen to our neighborhood since the HOA instituted the mandatory scavenged rags dress code. What is it? <laughs> oh, she's so. <laughs> we'll be right behind you. Be I'm like helping you escape. <laughs> Are you coming? Please hear me now and believe the enclave, and that includes their Now is not a good time to be talking. I am feeling better, but not well enough to be of use to you. I apologize. We must keep moving. Hey there! I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. I really don't want to die down here. None of us do. What is it? We'll be right behind you. Be careful. Are you coming? 
They're not following me. I'm just gonna quickly look up what happens if Dr. Lee doesn't follow you. Hmm, maybe if I zone out and zone in again, maybe. That'll We can't stop. <laughs> going yeah <laughs> we do need to keep going <laughs> Okay. Uh oh. I'm just. What to do now? They're not moving. I told her to wait and now she's waiting too much. <laughs> what is it? We'll be right behind you. Be careful. I need to know how to open these doors. Yeah, the inaccessible door. I don't think that door ever opens. Okay, it will never open. Okay. So I don't have to worry about that. Should I go somewhere else?
Yeah, this. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at a guide. Oh, there's a Chinese assault rifle somewhere. Hmm, tricky. What to do? Maybe I should go back? Ah, oh, so confused. It's funny, there's a first day thing with a, like a severed arm on her or something. <laughs> I can't open that. Super radiated. What's in here? It's, what do. it's probably blocked, right? Why am I walking so slowly? Do I need to use right away? Radiation. Six six two. Okay, items right away. I took his armor. <laughs> Yay, power fist. I have to drop something. I have to drop the armor, I guess. I can't wear it anyway. Eyebot helmet. Do you reckon that's got more armor? Why are you carrying bottle caps? <laughs> I won't complain. 
Maybe they like to buy things. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a bed. Pass card. Oh, that's useful. Brotherhood of Steel. This ain't a tourist trap. You civilians get cops on. Why is it coming for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tower defense. <laughs> Shall I get XP for this?
Well, I could use a bed. Seriously. Ooh, gun. Is that a zombie using a gun? Do it. Ah, oh, left and right. Spoils. Just one bed, that's all I ask. <laughs> hmm, well, I've cleared it out. Surely they'll come with me now, hopefully. where I came from. I'm really lost now. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta love ammo. my quest yeah, I'm super lost Celebrate. Sing out! America is back! America is... 
stop now. We need to keep going. What is it? We'll be right behind you. Be careful. But we can go this way. It's really tricky. up something. Let's try this console thing. I don't know what it'll do though. We can't stop now, we need to keep going. Resurrect. Garza, we have no medicine. But there's something else that may help for now. Now is not a good time. We must keep. We can't stop now. We need. What is it? I have the same pack. Are you sure? I don't. What is it? We'll be right. Yeah, that's great. Let's go. That's what I had to do. She wouldn't do the Gaza thing, that's what it was. And I've cleared the way! Wahoo! Save it. Thank you, internet, for your answers. <laughs> I can't remember the way back, but I imagine up is good. Nope. <laughs> oh, the whole gang's here. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Can't wait for a bed, and then join the Brotherhood of Steel. Because <laughs> I played for that one and two, and you could join the Brotherhood of Steel. It's so cool. You get the power armor. I became like a initiate and got like a footlocker and a bed. Everything was so cool. We made it. You happy now? <laughs> what is it? We'll be right behind you. Be careful. This ain't a tourist trap. You civilians get topside immediately. Ooh. I don't really need blood packs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't mind.
Yay. What is it? <laughs> She's so cranky. <gasps> we'll be right behind you. Be careful. Name's Paladin Bale. What do you need, civilian? Can you tell me about the Brotherhood of Steel? Can anyone in there teach me how to use power armor? That's what I want to know. What is this place? Of course. But you'd have to secure the permission of Elder Lions and, well, I just don't see that happening. So move along. What can you tell me about the Brotherhood of Steel? I can see you're trying to appeal to my good nature. Pity for you I don't have one. I'll give you this one for free. We use our big guns to kill big super mutants, so people like you can sleep at night. What is this place? You're standing in front of the Citadel, headquarters to the Brotherhood of Steel, Capital Wasteland Detachment. Can I come in? Negative. No super mutants, civilians, or traveling salesmen allowed. Which are you? Anything about the super mutants I should know? Yeah, the city ruins are crawling with them. They've pretty much overrun all of old DC. Do yourself and us a favor and stay as far away from there as humanly possible. Definitely no place for civilians. I have to go now. Steel be with you. What is Dr. Lee? Is she gonna say something? Or is she gonna talk to them? I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! Yay! <laughs> that worked. Her crankiness paid off. <laughs> we can't stop now. We need to keep going. Fine with me. I still learned how to use power armor. <laughs> oh, did I level up? Oh, quest complete. Yeah. Oh, I think that's a level up sound. Yeah. So cool. All right. I'm gonna get one more lockpick, right? And then I'm gonna get a repair. And once I get repair, then I'll decide after that. Continue. So that allows me to open very hard locks. I mean, like, try at least. Let's see what else I can do. Night person. When the sun is down, a nice person gains plus two intelligence and perception. This perk directly affects your internal clock and remains active both inside and outside. Cool. So there's no negative, it's just positive. So like, I can shoot much better at night. Here and now, perk immediately grants an additional experience level, complete with all the advantages that brings. Does that sound good to you? I didn't see the drawback to that. Finesse. With the finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat, equivalent to five extra points of luck. Whoa, these are really good. Animal friend. At the first rank of this perk, animals simply won't attack. At the second rank, they will actually come to your aid in combat, and but never against another animal. This perk affects the dog, Yao Guai, Mole Rat, and Brahmin. Sounds pretty cool to me. Size matters. You're obsessed with really big guns. Scrounger. More ammunition containers than you normally would. Okay. Impartial mediation. Wow, these are really cool. I'm just going to find out what the drawback to this is. It's like an extra level. Here and now.
Oh, you level up again at the cost of a perk. So you're just sacrificing one of your perks. Oh, you only take it if there's no other perks you really want. Okay. Night person sounds pretty good. So night person is good. Finesse sounds pretty cool. Critical hits are cool, right? Animal friend. Scrounger sounds good. Significantly more? Considerably more. Scrounger sounds pretty cool because I like ammo, right? Toughness. Lead belly, fortune finder. Yeah, I think maybe the ammo one. Scrounger. <laughs> Look at that picture, it's funny. So I don't really need animals helping me because how often are animals around? That one's nice, but I mean, very nice when it's night. Like, but I'm gonna go scrounger. Finesse. Scrounger. More ammo is good. Alright. Done. Sweet. How much health have I got now? 3.30, wow. Cool. And I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could. <laughs> Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. <laughs> yes. He knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. Hey, you. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. I just wanted to get power... wear power armor. <laughs> I need to speak with you, Father. Certainly, Sarah. What's on your mind? I've been talking with the other members of the Pride. We want to assault the Purifier, Father, now! The Enclave must pay for what they've done. Oh, Sarah, my dear sweet girl, so eager you are to rush headlong into battle. But no, not now, not yet. Our time will come, fear not. Yes, Father. Yes, Elder, I understand. Welcome. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. What do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago. I remember. In California. I was there. <laughs> then they were led by a President Richardson. 
Now we've got this okay, so maybe not. To contend with. But I was in California. Matters not now. In Fallout One and Two. they seek to control and destroy, all in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? If you're just a part of the Brotherhood, where's the rest of it? Why are you here in the Capital Wasteland? How long have you been here? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast. Yes, it did. It exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Why are you here in the Capital Wasteland? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. How long it's have you been, been here? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. That's all I wanted to know. So be it. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. What more did you want to know? Power armor. So be it. Anything you can tell me about the super mutants? Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really. Considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Can someone in the Citadel train me to wear power armor? Here's where we're at. Why, yes. Yes, indeed, yes, there hey. is someone. Our intrepid paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor. When they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny Yay. to train you as well. You'll find him in the bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. Awesome. Hail. Sounds good to me. Power armor. I was gonna stop, but I really want to learn how to use power armor and then chuck on this stuff I'm wearing. Pretty impressive work for a civilian, bringing the doctor here in one piece. Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Commander of Lyons Pride. Welcome to the Citadel. Lyons Pride, I like that. Can someone... Oh, okay, I already got this. I'll ask her anyway. Can someone in the Citadel train me in the use of power armor? Paladin Gunny instructs all initiates in the use of power armor but only after they've undergone a rigorous training regimen. Considering all that's happened, my father may grant you special permission, but you'll need to ask him yourself. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow. If my father permits it. Care to share anything about the super mutants? You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... 
What can you tell me about the Lion's Pride? It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. Stay strong. Cool, find the Bailey. Or find a bed. Whichever comes first. I imagine that's the Bailey? I don't know, I think it sure looks the same to me. Oh, there's a bed! But someone's on it. This reminds me of uh, when I was an initiate <laughs> in Fallout 1 and 2. I can't remember which one it was. What if I wake him up? <laughs> hey, watch this. Welcome! <laughs> what, huh? I'm sorry, I'm just an initiate. <laughs> Who's as good as new? Me! <laughs> Alright. A lot of bits around. <laughs> you honor us with your presence here. Cool hoo. Laboratory. Laboratory. Oh, gotta find the Bailey. It's not a quest, it's um my own quest. <laughs> so I don't think there's a quest marker. <laughs> So cool inside the Brotherhood of Steel. Yay! You honor us with your presence here. Thank you. Whoa. I will I will serve the Citadel and Elder Lions until my dying breath. Is there any better life? <laughs> I want the Bailey. Gunny. Then put on my power armor. Whoa, is this who, who's Is this just training? A ring. Pretty big place. Oh, training. Wasteland. No, I don't want that. I feel like the Bailey would not be like here. Yeah. Maybe it's in the A-ring. You honor us with your presence here. I don't think it's down here. Need something, friend? All this time spent acquiring technology, and we look like cavemen next to the enclave. That's not <laughs> No, I just want to get power armor. <laughs> Yes, hello, I've heard about you. We don't get many strangers here in the Citadel, especially those who walk about unescorted. I am Scribe Bowditch. If you require something, simply ask. 
What do you scribes do? Why, a great many things. There are three orders within the scribes, you see, each dedicated to a different field of study. Could you name the orders? Of course. There's the Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, and Order of the Quill. The Order of the Sword develops and maintains the Brotherhood's weapons. The Order of the Shield does the same for our power armor and defenses. The Order of the Quill is responsible for recovering and preserving knowledge, ancient and otherwise. Which order do you serve, Squire Bowditch? I am Proctor of the Order of the Shield. I oversee the others in my order and make sure our defenses are up to snuff. Do you know how long it took to fortify these ruins? From the husk of the Pentagon, I carved a grand citadel. No easy task, my friend. Ah, but that was yesterday, when all we had to worry about was those damn super mutants. The Enclave, now, that's a different problem altogether. That's all I needed. Certainly. Can someone in the Citadel train me to wear power armor? I'm sure Gunny could train you, but he won't. Not without permission from Elder Lyons. You should ask him. He's usually near the lab. Okay. Oh, that's Lyons. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? They're sporting some pretty impressive power armor, I'll give them that. The Advanced Mark II. But that's alright. With a few modifications, our own armor will more than handle anything they throw at it. Care to share anything about the super mutants? They're relentless, like nothing I've ever seen before. I honestly think they see our brothers in power armor as some kind of canned meal. Some of the pieces we've had brought back, men and women ripped in half, some pulled through their armor. Just horrible. Can you repair my equipment? I suppose that I can. The Brotherhood can make use of wasteland currency to trade. I'm okay. Sniper rifle. 203 cups. Nah, don't worry. I can repair it. Hopefully repair it myself. Can you tell me more about the Brotherhood of Steel? Oh, yes I can. In fact, I suspect I could write several texts on the various details of the Brotherhood. But I suspect you're in a hurry. So what particulars would you like to know? What are the central beliefs of the Brotherhood? I'm afraid the answer to that is a lot more nuanced than others might suggest. Brotherhood members are sworn to acquire and protect technology of the past, but not everyone interprets these oaths in the same way. Elder Lyons sees these duties as part of a larger dedication to protect the innocent. Some, like the outcasts, disagree with these priorities. Tell me more about the outcasts. It's a rather sad story, I'm afraid. Last year, some of our soldiers had grave disagreements with the decisions of Elder Lyons. Disagreements spiraled out of control and there was a schism in the ranks. The loyal soldiers practically threw out the dissenters. Now they call themselves the Outcasts. What sort of dis disagreements did they have? Where Elder Lyons has fought to protect the people of the Capital Wasteland, the Outcasts demanded we move on and leave them to their fates. They insisted there was more important technology to be recovered and a scientific base in the ruins of Fort Independence to the West. As callous as their decision may be, it's more in line with our original mission. Elder Lyons is an inspiration to us, but to them, he's a traitor. Who are the Exiles? The soldiers rallied behind Paladin Kasdan, who was one of Elder Lion's original squad. They served together for over twenty years. Kasdan was well respected, and every bit as loyal to the Brotherhood as Elder Lion's. He just disagreed with the interpretations of our oaths. But when disagreements turned into fistfights, he left with the outcasts. We lost more allies that day than we ever have to any battle. It sounds like it was quite a loss. Is there any way to reconcile them? If so many people agreed with him, maybe he has a good point. Well, good riddance to them. If you waver in your oaths, you get punished. I'll choose this top one. Is there any way to reconcile them? Lyons and Kasdan would have to agree to any sort of reconciliation, and that's pretty unlikely. They're both quite proud and stubborn. Me, I just wish there was a way we could all agree that at least we're still on the same side. There are bigger problems out there, after all. What are you doing about them? 
As much as some of our soldiers would like to see them shot for deserting, there's not much we can do. We're too busy with the super mutants. Meanwhile, they're busy seeking out new technology and trying to get back in contact with the Brotherhood out west. So our paths rarely cross, but it's never pretty when they do. I just hope things cool down before it gets worse. Enough about the outcasts. It is a rather discouraging Thanks. subject, isn't it? I have to go now. Back to work. Cool, I learned some stuff. I can just pick up power armor. Too bad I can't wear it. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. If I... I think it's this way. Brother who is still Need something, friend? Oh, I found him. I need gunny hey. though. Oh, here we the found him. Is at your Sweet. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. What do you do here? Can you train me in the use of power armor? Straight to the point. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. Well, what's your tactical appraisal of our... You have received the specialization specialized training needed to move in any form of power armor. Yeah. What aid can I offer you, outsider? What do you do here? I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. With the threat of the enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. So I've got a lot of work to do. So any thoughts on the enclave? Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back. Fucking cowards. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. I have to go now. Damn initiates. Situation. All right, guys. Let's put, let's put it on. Let's put it on. This is exciting. So exciting. All right. Damage resistance 14. Oh, it only gets 18. What? Power helmet. But I look cool, right? The Guys, that's me. That's I look cool. Look at me. Look at me, guys. That's exciting. <laughs> Wait. What my quest at the moment? Ask Scribe Rothschild for pre-war computer access. Where is he? I wonder if I can pick up that power armor in that area. In that research place. It's all going to be for a good cause. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I 
this the lab? Need something, friend? Looking for Rothschild. Need something, friend? Don't talk to me. You honor us. That's with the your one. Business. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault equipment. My father was looking for something called a Gek. Do you have one? A Gek? Goodness, no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. So, you know how to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. A-Ring. Thanks for your help. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Alright. Who are these people? Oh, Dr. Lee's down here. I need to collect my wits and figure out what to do next. Excuse me. Hey, hey buddy. Hi. Yeah, so listen, thanks and all. Really great job you did there. You're welcome. Hey there. And I have work to do. <laughs> Need something? Yeah, I'm looking for some power armor <laughs> that I saw on the table. I like the noise I make when I walk. Unless it was the same as I was, but I just didn't notice. Nothing out of the ordinary. The area around Galaxy News Radio is nearly secure. Very well. Thank you for the update. The Enclave seems to have developed it. I'm sorry, but I really don't have the time to talk right now. Perhaps Scribe Jameson can help you? I'm sorry, but I really don't have the time to talk right now. Perhaps Scribe Jameson can help you? That robot could mean the difference between victory or defeat against the Enclave. All right, all right. I'll see what I can. I'm gonna go at some stage to get the that radiation quest out of me. <laughs> Food. My stuff came in handy when I was in a gunfight. Ooh. It was so easy to find that other dude before and I wasn't looking for him. I just want that table where the power armor was sitting. Seems like I've looked everywhere. It's one of the scribes, wasn't it?
Ah, uh, here we go. In items? 18. Okay, I don't need it. I can sell that maybe. Okay. The Brotherhood is at your service. I'm gonna go. Can't fast travel. I probably have to get out to fast travel. Oh, Avery, I should do that while I'm here. How did I get back in there? That was a laboratory, wasn't it? Cool. Now let's go A ring. Ooh, save. So cool. Guess he's wearing power armor. It's me. Okay. computer in here somewhere. Give me a second, I'll be back in one moment. I'm back. <laughs> Drink some water. I wonder if I can wear Tesla armor. Or maybe that's different. And who's going to teach me that? Is it the Alcas? <laughs> They said A ring. Citadel archives. It's a vault tech computer somewhere. Very well, thank you. doesn't talk? Yes? Oh. You don't say much, do you? What if I said nothing? No, I don't. What do you want? <laughs> Any thoughts on the Enclave? They're men. They're born, they live, they die. End of story. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Shoot them, they die. <laughs> Stab them, they die. Strangle them, they die. <laughs> this guy's funny. What can you tell me about the uh, lion's pride? Sarah appreciates my methods. I fill a role no one else can. What's your speciality in the lion's pride? Spec ops. Let's leave it at that. I have to go now. And so we part. It's cool. I like this whole oh, culture here. Gum gunnies here. Am I back here again? I like that I just let this stranger um, have free reign. <laughs> Grab stuff from the fridge. Oh yeah, I wonder if my perk made me find more than I would have before. 
I hope so. It'll pay off. Every bullet counts. Glad to see you and that egghead Lee made it here in one piece. I heard what happened to that purifier. Hell of a thing. What's the story with Gallows? Oh man, there's something wrong with that boy. Ain't nobody around here that even knows his real name. We got a betting pool in the pride. Whole pot goes to the first person who can find out his real name. I want to talk about Gallows. You figure out his name yet? <laughs> yeah, I thought not. So any thoughts on the Enclave? Man, I don't know. Fighting Uglies is one thing, but we've never gone up against anyone that well trained or organized. Even their tech is better. Don't get me wrong, the pride's in it to win it. And I'll go down shooting if I have to. I just hope I don't have to. Go on to sh uh, care to share anything about the Super Mutants? Man, nothing dies like an Ugly. I once saw Colvin snipe the leg off one at 200 yards. Thing pirouetted like a figure skater. <laughs> I've seen, yeah, I've seen them. Uh, funny <laughs> when when they get shot. What can, uh, what can you tell me about the Lions Pride? You, my friend, are talking about the most elite fighting force ever assembled within the Brotherhood of Steel. Each of us was handpicked by Sentinel Lions herself. You can't even realize what an honor that is. Sarah defines combat excellence. So, uh, what's your job in the Lion's Pride? Me? Heavy weapons, mini guns, missile launchers. If it's bigger than a human and goes boom, I'm all over it. <laughs> of course. The Brotherhood is at your service. I want to find out um, Gallo's name. I have charisma. Do you reckon that'll help? I see. Safe. What? So, what's your real name? What's the pool up to now, anyway? Nice try, though. Speech twenty-seven. Come on, it'll really throw these guys for a loop if you tell me. Uh, what? I got it. I'm tired of this game. Irving. My name's Irving. There. Go collect your money. Uh, Maybe uh, now they'll leave me alone about it. <laughs> Aren't I glad I have high charisma and um, safe, speech? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just a little dance. See the one? Who's the one that told? What aid can I offer you, outsider? You must see a lot of things. What's been going on? What's been going on? Well, let's see. For years, we've been draining our resources defending the ungrateful residents of this no man's land. Most of my best friends have either been ripped apart by super mutants or left to join the outcasts. And now an enemy we faced more than 30 years ago has resurfaced, and their tech is still better than ours. What's been going on with you? <laughs> He's a pessimist. <laughs> Outcasts, who are they? I really don't want to go into it. Go bug scribe Bowditch. You could talk a dog off a meat truck. I have a few questions about the Citadel. I can help with that. What do you need? Can you describe the lad of the Citadel? You are currently in A-Ring. Here you will find the Great Hall, the Lion's Den, and the Archives. Beyond this area is B-Ring, quarters for the Knights, Scribes, and Elder Lions. Outside in the Bailey are the training areas and access to the Initiates barracks. Other than that, down those steps is the lab. Be careful around there, the scribes are touchy about who goes near their toys. Do you have a medic? You could say that. We have an old robo-doc. He's a bit creepy, but he does the job. You'll find him in B-Ring. I need some supplies. Who would I see about that? Well, any one of us would see Night Captain Durga down in the lab, but since you're an outsider, you'll need permission from Elder Lions. Very well. I have a few questions about the Citadel. What do you need to find? Very well. Any thoughts on the Enclave? As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Their weapons are better. Their power armor is better. Is their training better? We'll see. 
Can you share anything about the Supians? You know how many uglies I've killed? More than all of Lion's pride combined. That's how many. All it takes is a loaded weapon and the will to use it. Oh, and a good way to get ugly blood out of your armor. Little bit of a Braxo and some water. Works like a charm. <laughs> Funny. Of course. I gotta get permission from Elder Lions. Since he's down here, I might as well Whoa. grab him. I think he's down well, here. What's your tactical appraisal of our situation? It appears the troops have moved Okay, maybe he's not down here. The archives are down here somewhere, right? Maybe the map will show me. Straight ahead. Is that it? You honor us with your presence here. Oh, thank you. The Enclave seems to have developed advanced plasma-based weaponry. I need to analyze our power armor. All right. DC area vault listings. Vault tech personnel assistance. Auto requisition forms. Vault 76. Wow, there's a lot to read. What am I even looking for again? Oh, I need to find one with a gek, right? Oh, uh, equipment. Oh, Vault 87. Cool, done. Hail. We're in nightly order, right? I bid you honor us with your presence here. I just like looking at myself with their power armor. <laughs> so cool. Um, laboratory. So either him or the lions is someone I want to see. The Brotherhood is at your. Did you have any success with that old terminal? I did. Vault eighty-seven has a geck, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Service. Oh, cool. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why? Why? What's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. How do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. There's got to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. So there's a vault down there and you're ne you've never bothered investigating it? Don't you know? No, I'm afraid not. After initial attempts to cross the radiation failed, it was decided to focus our efforts elsewhere. You, however, are free to do as you choose. More exploration may be useful, and I'll certainly be interested in anything you might find. Thanks for your help. 
I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. Oh, 106, 101, oh, 87, 92, 108. Cool. So they're on my map now? Let's go find Elder. I don't think it's that way. If he's, if he's still around. The elders sent word of your arrival. I am Scribe Peabody. Welcome, etc. Now, I'm really very busy. Is there something you needed? I have some questions about the Brotherhood. You want to talk to Scribe Jameson. She's the archivist, not me. Can you tell me something about the scribes? Indeed I can. Pay no heed to those headstrong knights with their pop guns and bravado. It is the scribes the scribes who make the Brotherhood what it truly is? The brawn is useless without the brain, hmm? <laughs> Each order of scribes is dedicated to a unique field, all equally important, all more important than those dim-witted grunts. <laughs> and the orders are... Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, Order of the Quill, Weapons, Defenses, and Research, respectively. Let me guess, you belong to the Order of the... Uh... Sword, of course. Weapons, my boy. You name it, I've helped someone kill it. <laughs> I'm the proctor of the Order of the Sword, you see. Weapons research, development and maintenance. He's very enthusiastic. All my responsibility. That's all I needed. Let me know if you need something else. Any thoughts on the Enclave? So they have plasma weapons. Bah! It's strong technology, I'll give you that, but limited in modability. I've already started removing the compensators on our laser weapons to cut through the Black Devil power armor of theirs. We'll drop them like any other meat, don't you worry. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Foul, detestable beasts. They're like an infestation. We cut them down and they return again and again. Always so determined to kill or capture. But why? Do you think you could repair my equipment? No, I'm good. Until next time. Alright. That's interesting. What? Is that a gun? Can I take it? <laughs> I've got plasma rifle now. Just can't use it. <laughs> I can keep it in my locker. <laughs> Where was the Elder Lions? It's funny, when I'm looking for someone else, I find so that someone else I'm looking for. <laughs> Welcome. I was being here. I forgot to cash in for my... my the, I found out his name. Was it Irving or something? To you, stranger. I am Knight Captain Dusk, in service of Steel. If you require anything, simply ask. So, what's your story? My story? I blow the head off anything more than 200 meters downrange. I'm the best shot in the Brotherhood of Steel, bar none. Not even Colvin can match my kill count. That's my story. 
You mean you were the best shot. I'm here now. <laughs> I like this. That's funny. Hey, wasteland humor. I like that. Got any more, funny man? <laughs> what do you think about Gallows? I don't trust him. I know, I know. I should take faith in my brother. But he disappears for days out into the waste. He comes back without a word. He only reports to Sentinel Lions. And he doesn't tell the rest of us what he's up to. I can't trust a soldier like that. I don't mind that. The other guys, they think it's a joke. Glade's even got a betting pool going to find out Gallo's real name. A betting pool, honestly. Any thoughts on the Enclave? Honestly, I can't wait to see if one of those helmets can stop a hollow point round at 100 yards. I'm thinking, not. <laughs> Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? I can tell you that those heavily armored ones, the Masters, they favor heavy weapons. Mini guns and missile launchers. My recommendation? Headshot from a distance. Avoid the meat grinder. <laughs> I agree. What can you tell me about the Lion's Pride? We're the most elite tactical unit ever assembled in the Brotherhood of Steel. Here or anywhere else. Hell, ain't nothing Sarah's Cubs can't handle. <laughs> I'm a sniper with the Pride. Put any mutie bastard within one mile of me and my rifle, and, well, pack it up, troops. Fight's over. Coleman <laughs> thinks he's a better shot. Man's delusional. I like how confident she is. Move silently. I need Glade. <laughs> I didn't comment about dusk. Still alive, I see. You're doing better than most wasters that end up in the city. Stick to the shadows. Welcome. Got a second. What is it? What's your next? So what's the way to do it? Our thing has a four by the power hour. That's the advanced part to down the light over the stand of around city to penetrate that stuff. Need something, friend? Lions. You just oh, managed no. to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. Stay strong. Yes, I need to talk to Scribe Jameson. Make sure all my the brother you know, personal is information. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Steel be with you. It is up to date. For the scrolls, I mean. Tell you what, let's look up later and go see Scribe footage. Hail, Outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. I have some questions about the Brotherhood. Ah, one of my favorites. <laughs> She's gonna talk a lot, isn't what she? What would you like to know? <laughs> What's, what does the Brotherhood believe? We believe in technology, in the triumph of the creations of the ancients, over the horrors and evils of the wasteland. We believe in trust. Trust in technology. Trust in our fellow brothers. Trust in our elders. Ah, and we believe in victory. Our forces have dwindled, but still we fight on. Super mutant, enclave, it matters not. Surrender is not an option. Mm, they sound cool. W who are the members of the Brotherhood? Elder Lions leads us. Star Paladin Cross is his Seneschal. Sentinel Lions, the Elder's daughter, commands the Lion's pride our elite combat squad. The Paladins lead the Knights. The Knights are the core of the Brotherhood. They scour the waste to eliminate evil and recover technology. Scribe Rothschild oversees the Scribes in their duties to seek knowledge and restore the technology the Brotherhood has acquired. What about the Brotherhood's history in this area? We first arrived in the Capital Wasteland in 2255. In those first couple of years, we discovered the Citadel, Super Mutants, and Project Purity. Ah, the purifier. What an undertaking. The work your father and his team did was amazing. The Brotherhood helped protect them, you know, at least for a little while. But we were stretched thin as it was, even back then. We had to pull our forces out. When we did, 
The place was overrun. I imagine that's when your father left. I... I'm sorry. I wish things had turned out differently. I need to go now. Very well. Tell me a little bit about the scribes. Well, there are a number of orders within the scribes, each dedicated to a specific area of research. What are the orders? The Order of the Sword is responsible for weapons research and development. Guns, ammunition, anything of an offensive nature. Defensive research is done by the Order of the Shield. Power armor, defensive structures, anything that is intended to protect us. The Order of the Quill preserves the written knowledge of the ancients, seeking out all manner of books and tapes. What order are you part of? Actually, I am Proctor of the Order of the Quill. I oversee the archives and library here in the Citadel. We are dedicated to preserving the history of the Brotherhood, as well as unearthing the secrets of the pre-war civilizations. We have a single field associate, Scribe Yearling. She operates out of the former Library of Congress to the Northeast. Cool. That's all I want to know. Certainly. Any thoughts on the Enclave? Quite a few. But most are distinctly unladylike and unworthy of discussion. I will tell you that the Brotherhood has encountered the Enclave before, and their motives were just as sinister then as they are now. Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? The Brotherhood has been battling Super Mutants for decades. First out west, then in Chicago, now here. But this group of Super Mutants is different somehow. Physically, yes, but mentally as well. If we knew where they came from, we'd know why. I have to go now. Go with peace and knowledge. Hail. The Enclave seems to have developed advanced plasma-based weaponry. Welcome. I need to analyze our power armor. Very well. Thank you for the update. I've been meaning to ask you. Huh? What aid can I offer you, outsider? Of course. The Brotherhood is at your service. I've been meaning to ask you. I ran some scans on the Enclave positions at the Purifier. There's some serious firepower they're packing. What do you think? Very well. Thank you for the update. Welcome. Glade! What do you need? I know Gala's real name. Really? You're kidding me. What is it? You never did tell me what I'd win. <laughs> Good point. The pool is up to about 1,000 caps these days. Now, come on. Come on. What's his name? It's Irving. <laughs> Irving? Are you serious? Oh, man. Wait until the other guys hear this. Irving! Here's the pool. You earned it. Yay! <laughs> of course. Now, you mind finding um Kodiak? Hey, name's Greg. Greg Bear. Most of the guys just call me Kodiak. Heard about that mess over at the Purifier? Don't you worry. You're safe here. What's with the gallows guy? Heard you took the pot. <laughs> Good work. Of course. I'm not going to ask how you found out what his name was. How did you end up in the Brotherhood? Now that's a story. The only reason I'm here is because of Elder Lions. You see, I grew up in the pit. Don't suppose you ever been there, huh? It's about 500 clicks to the northwest. Place is a nightmare. Three irradiated rivers coming together. People there were... not well. But the Brotherhood of Steel came down on the place with a righteous hammer. They called it the Scourge. What was the Scourge? It was a Brotherhood operation. They marched in and swept the place clean. Most of the people there were half-mutated, cancerous, vile things. And these people... rape gangs, torture squads... It was pure chaos there. The Scourge is the best thing that could have happened to it. This was way back, before the Citadel was fortified. Part of the early recon after the Brotherhood first arrived in this area. One night, a squad of brothers led by Paladin Lions swept into the city from over Mount Wash, tearing apart anyone who stood against them. 
They were completely outnumbered, and still they raised that place to the ground. How did you escape? As they swept through, the Brotherhood policed up every non muty child they could find. Turns out there weren't that many. Me and maybe 20 others. The younger we were, the less of a chance that we were mutated. It was ugly work, no doubt, but it had to be done. I'll never forget the sight of the Brotherhood of Steel breaching the breast of the mountain at dawn. How did you end up back here? Elder Lyons brought us all back to the Citadel. He said it was the safest place he knew of. This place was still being converted. He put us in as initiates and kept a watchful eye over us. He was tough, but he taught us to stay alive. The man's like a father to me. That's pretty amazing, Kodiak. Nah. The amazing thing is Elder Lyons. He risked everything. Went in outmanned and outgunned. I'll never be able to thank him enough. So I do my best to serve the Brotherhood. I know that that's what he really wants. In time, I'm sure you'll understand. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? There's meat under that armor. And meat can be ground. <laughs> Care to share anything about the soup mutants? Hell, I've killed more of those yellow Frankensteins than any other member of the Pride. Except maybe Gallows, those crazy solo night ops of his. What can you tell me about the Lion's Pride? Now, I see the Brotherhood's one thing, but the Pride, best of the best. Every damn one of us. Handpicked by Sentinel Lions herself. What's your combat specialization in Lion's Pride? Hell, I do it all. Recon, demolition, tactical assault. Guess you could say I'm the pride's jack of all trades. I have to go now. Strength and steel, friend. Well, cool. what's your tactical appraisal of our situation? There's been another behemoth sighted in the wasteland, in the Evergreen Mills region. Cut it out. That's heavy raider country, so things can get interesting. Very well. Thank you for the help. Okay, let's it up. B-ring? I haven't been to B-ring. Oh, a robot. Another. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. What's that triage protocol? Do you want to try it? Medical procedures initiated. Administering treat... Error! Error! Oh. Why did you damage me? You're supposed to be a healing robot. There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level 2 diagnostic. Run a level 2 diagnostic on the medical subsystem. Command accepted. Beginning level 2 systems diagnostic. Please stand by. <laughs> Elevator music. Diagnostic complete. Results indicate a level 7 degradation in neural pathway 0x63a82. No further information available. Close neural pathway and reunite, um, reroute remaining functions. Neural pathway 0x63a82 rerouted through neural pathway 0x374e82. <laughs> Full motor functions restored. Diagnostic reveals no critical failures. Asshole. <laughs> Wait, I have to go now. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. I just want to know. I hope he doesn't cure my um radiation. I need that. <laughs> Let's just double check my stats. Five nine six. That's pretty high. Pretty good. I don't think I need it. Is there any stim packs around? Medics. Okay. Another glorious day in this man's army. Bed. <laughs> I'm 
trapped. Oh, does that cost money? Oh no, it's weight. It's like looting them all. <laughs> Power fist, there you got one. I think I'm good. Who's this? Squire. Hail to you, stranger. I am Squire Maxon, loyal servant of steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Relax, Squire. I don't bite. The honor is all mine, Squire. Oh, well, thank you. Your words are very kind. Kinder than those I usually hear. Is there something I can help you with? Aren't you a little young for all this? What made you... What do you make of the Enclave, Squire? You're asking me what I think about the Enclave? Well, the Brotherhood of Steel has actually faced the Enclave before. Back west. More than 30 years ago, according to our chronicles. Judging from those records, I say their soldiers are outfitted in advanced power armor Mark II. It's pretty strong. Better than our power armor. And some of their technology is amazing. Vertibirds. Plasma weapons that can turn a man to goo. Does that help? Yeah. Don't suppose you have any know anything about the civilians? Oh yes. I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the masters. They're really tough. But the worst of all I saw one. The behemoth. He's a giant. I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So scary. The super mutants are all over the city ruins. But Elder Lions doesn't actually think they're from there, or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something, but we're not really sure what that is. He does tell me a lot of interesting stuff. They don't actually make you fight, do they? I have to go now. May we speak again soon? To the wasteland in the Evergreen Mills region. That's every raider country, so things could get Have I talked to Colvin yet? I see. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Steel be with you. Oh, just who I needed. Hail to you, son of James. Son of James. Can you tell me about the outcasts? I'd like permission to trade. This is not normally something that we do. Trade with outsiders has proven to be problematic in the past. However, considering the circumstances, so be it. I'll send word to Durga that you have full access to trade. Cool. Can you tell me about the outcasts? The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake, but a mistake I'm proud of nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. I thought the protection of humanity was a part of the Brotherhood Oaths. How do you do your remaining soldiers feel about the outcasts? Has your decision been worth it? That's enough about the outcasts. How do your remaining soldiers feel about the outcasts? Even now, a year after they left, the wounds of their departure are still sore. Some of my soldiers are angry about it. They see it as an insult to me. Bless them for their loyalty. They're more angry about it than I ever was. 
Others understand their decision. Sometimes I hear them wondering if they should have gone with them. I can't blame them, but I stand by my decision, and I respect theirs. Has your decision been worth it? Has it been worth the cost in lives and resources to protect people like you from the super mutants? You tell me. I suspect my daughter's squad helped save your life. And most of our recent recruits have come from those we've saved over the years. It's cost us, but we've saved many lives. And made the capital wasteland a place where people can live. Yes, I'd say that's been worth it. I thought the protection of humanity was a part of the Brotherhood's oaths. Only in a very broad sense. The Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress. But not necessarily every human. The outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. That's enough about the outcasts. Yes. Let's speak of other things. Cool. Well, that's all I needed. Hail. Let's save. So tempting. <laughs> all right. So I can trade with them. Welcome. Let's get out of here now. I'm gonna go back and get my radiation cured. That should beef up some of my stats, shouldn't it? If I happen to see Durga or Durga or whatever who it is. Vargas. Wow, we did a fair bit today. <laughs> Yay! Um, to the wasteland, I think. To the wasteland. Hail! Who's this? Peabody. Have I talked to you? What do you want, outsider? Until next time. Yay! Alright, let's fast travel. Cool! This is outside? Huh? It's so cool. You honor us with your presence here. Cool, they're so friendly now. Have a nice day. It's Need something, friend? You again. State your business and be quick about it. That's an affirmative. You're clear to enter, but I still don't like it. Or you. <laughs> Steel be with you. Wow. How did they get here? I guess you'd have to do the quest to get in there. I suppose. Where is this place on the map? The Citadel. Cool. Let's go to Megaton. It's my radiation. Stats. 596. Let's get a bit of extra radiation on me. I wish there were more people like you in the world. 
I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. Wow, bullets. Thank you. Certainly, thank you. No, thank you. Cool. Just gonna hang around here. Every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be. Whoa, that went out really quickly. Oh, well, at 600 I walk really slowly. You guys notice that? Where's the clinic? Is it here? No, it's not here, it's uh, somewhere else. I think it was upstairs I had to go. Am I encumbered? Oh, it's probably because my stats went down. Was it? Because of radiation? Oh, this is really painfully slow. <laughs> Am I encumbered? I am. Maybe I should just eat something. Hopefully, um, she's open. I can wake her up if she's not right. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's locked, isn't it? Clinic? <laughs> there has to be a quicker way. I hope I'm going the right way. I don't know anymore. Who is this? Maggie? Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Child at heart, do you know any good secrets? Well, Billy built a safe into the floor of our house. He keeps all sorts of cool stuff in there. I shouldn't tell you this, but the combination is 15, 16, 23, <laughs> 42, if you want to take a look. I think I will. Just make sure that you put everything back if you take anything out to play with it. I don't want to get in trouble. Who takes care of you? Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They kill my real parents. Billy showed up before they got me, and now he's like my daddy. Sort of. What do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. What else is uh, around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. Yeah, he's not I good. usually play with Harden most days when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day too. I have to go now. Bye, mister. Nice talking to you. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Crater side supply. I think I'm, I'm going to chuck some stuff in my locker and nap till daytime. Come back and cure this radiation. At this slow pace. <laughs> It'll be alright once I uh, chuck stuff in the locker. This is called walking slowly. <laughs> Imagine playing the whole game like this. <laughs> it will take so long to finish. I feel like we've achieved a lot. Especially getting the power armor. <laughs> so cool.
appears you've been wounded, sir. May I suggest you seek medical attention as soon as possible? I will, but just let me offload some stuff. Oh, two assault rifles. I chucked that one away. Beer, blood pack. Oh, that gets me below. And the rest I could trade. So, let's just have a nap. For eight hours, maybe? That should get me to daytime. It was a good day when I um, rescued Megaton. Sleep. Crater side supply, that's the place. How may I serve you, Master? Oh, do you have water? Good morning, sir. What? Certainly, sir. Here you are. Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. I'm sorry. I was going to attend the clairvoyance meeting, but it was cancelled due to unforeseen events. <laughs> of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Ooh. Oh no. The water made me heavy again. <laughs> so sad. Um, I can offload something, right? It doesn't weigh anything, I can keep it back, yes. See if I can sell that stuff. Must be cool, I'm coming back and I'm decked out in this armor. It's so good. Ah What? Crater side supply is not open. What time is it now? How do we find out the time? 5.54 Is it too early? I'll have to sleep a few more hours Three more hours should do it Three more hours. What are business hours for megaton places? <laughs> Let's go. Here, you've done so much for us. I want you to have this. Thank you. It's all I have to offer you. Oh, Brahmin steak. Thank you. No, thank you. Oh, she came running to find me. That's so cool. Whoa, am I holding a? What is this? I'm holding probably a rifle. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm used to holding a rifle. All righty, here we go. Save. Junk is my business. <laughs> oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Just do your examination. Fix me up, please. Perception. If I listen closely, I can hear my genes crying. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. She's so happy. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. <laughs> Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Moira's <laughs> experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippling limbs... Crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's good. That completes the first chapter's task, right? Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Tell me more about repelling the mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. I'll test out the repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. <laughs> Let's talk about the mole rat repellent. I've been thinking about the guide. Can I ask you something? see what you have for sale. I want to know about the guide first. Absolutely. I'll bet you haven't been thinking about the guide as much as I have. <laughs> Why do you really want to write this guide? Why can't you do this research yourself? How's the book coming? Oh, I'm writing up the second chapter right now. It's called Thrive. It covers the various ways to get ahead and stay ahead of the various predators out there. And how to patch yourself up if you don't. Let's see what you have for sale. What do you need? Cool. Let's sell stuff first. I don't think I'll use that pass card, right? Oh, she has it if I ever need it. Buff out. Carton of cigarettes, yay! Combat shotgun. Darts. I never use these darts, do I? Oh, the helmet. Hunting rifle, iguana bits. Jet. I don't really need jet, do I? Micro nuke, minigun, missile. Missile launcher. I'm carrying two big guns. Motorcycle helmet. 
pack of cigarettes. Pal fist, pay more money. Poison gland. Oh, my magnum keeps forgetting about that. Sledgehammer, sniper rifle, scroll. Talon combat armor, yeah. Cool. And now she's gonna give me 300. I can get the ammo for that. Right? Or oh, I do have enough ammo. What does hunting rifle use? That's the one I use a lot, right? Point three two. Does she have point three two? Nope. Ah, uh, Magnum. What does the assault rifle use? I was enjoying that too. Five five six. Yay. And that one? With the minigun? Oh yeah. No shotgun shells. Okay. Might as well get that too. Cool. Accept. Nice to ambitious for you. Good hunting. Have fun out there, okay? Okay, let's go. Cool. And I think with that we we're done for today, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. We did a fair bit. I've lightened my load. In a few levels I'll be a repairing guru. Until then. I think I'm pretty good. Hey. Alright. Next quest. We can worry about that next time. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed watching and um I'll see you later.